Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to bring you a tutorial on how to use the application called PropModder. Uh, I had a request uh, by somebody, so I figured I'd throw it up on here to uh, teach you guys how to use it. So, first what you need to do is go to your Android market. I already have it, but I'm going to show you what you need to what do you need to do? Go up to your search bar and type in prop modder. Okay. All right, let's see, maybe Google Play doesn't have it. If Google Play does not have it, um, you can get a, uh, what is it, a third-party app called four shared I believe four shared is where I got it originally uh, so we'll go looking for shared and we'll look for prop modder okay so there it is prop modder is in uh, the uh, four shared uh, so go on Google Play and you there will be a four shared download it's for free you just make an account uh, you do need to make sure uh, that you have your uh, unknown sources in your application settings uh, checked so therefore you can download stuff outside of the Android market to be able to get that so once you have that all downloaded uh, go to your prop modder this is what it'll look like it'll say you have been warned uh, this app was conceived while watching monkeys juggling knives. It hacks your system build prop folder. We are not responsible for accidental knife cuts. So basically it's saying anything you do uh, within this app, if you mess up your phone, it's your fault. Um, so this is why I'm making a tutorial so you don't mess it up. Uh, so you're going to have a bunch of different options here, as you can see. Uh, let's start off with the first one. Uh, the first one is the Wi-Fi, this one right here is the Wi-Fi scan interval. Uh, it will be the time between Wi-Fi scans when no stored access points are available. Uh, so you can go in here and uh, change the setting. I have it on 90. I don't really mess with that one. Um, but basically, like I said, all it does is it changes how long it, t how long it scans for. Um, so the LCD density, I use this one. Um, this is the screen density allowing more high definition look if you already don't have a high definition display. Um, so I have it like I said at 232 and I think it comes stock at like 240. The higher or uh, the lower the number you go, like if, you, if I were to go to like 140, it'd be really super fine. You probably wouldn't be able to read it. Um, but the higher number you go, the bigger the display gets. So the like the fatter the letters and everything gets, and the lower the numbers go, the higher definition it looks. Okay, so that's a good one. Uh, Windows Manager's Max. Uh, this is a runtime value that controls the number of events the system will allow in a second. Um, so you can mess with that. You know, um, it'll say max events per second up here at the top. And I don't know if I have this even set. I don't because I don't mess with this one. Uh, but to find out, like, if you have a certain amount of apps or so running, um, you could, um, you know, make a, a note. Well, not really a note, but, you know, you could set it to where it only uses so many events and then it stops doing it. Okay. Uh, telephone ringer delay. Uh, this is the amount of time for when the system registers an incoming call uh, until the ringer starts so say you got a friend calling in and um, you have it set for let's see see I have it one second I believe it's it goes in seconds so you go up to 1.4 seconds all the way down to none okay so as soon as he calls it, it hits um, so if you set it up at 1.4 seconds after he calls and it rings it's basically gonna send a signal to your phone for 1.4 seconds and then your phone's gonna start ringing um, and you know a thousand is the um, the we gonna call it the stock setting on that so I don't mess with that Delvic cache heap size uh, this controls the size of the cache the Delvic Virgin Mobile has access to um, actually, I don't think that stands for Virgin Mobile. Um, now, this one, I am not sure what this one does, okay? So, I wouldn't mess with that. Um, I would imagine it just changes some kind of a, a, save, a save file in your phone, okay? Um, HSUPA Upload Speed Hack. 
It says, warning, if you change this value, it will add the needed values to your build.prop if they are not already present. This is, you know, it's going to be in the HSUPA is going to be enabled first off, and then you can upload speeds, you can uncap them. Okay, I haven't messed with that because you know I'm still learning the app, um, but I believe that is as far as you know, downloading videos to YouTube, uh, download or sorry, uploading videos to YouTube and uploading videos uh, to you know, Facebook or photos to Facebook, such like that. That will cancel that upload uh, speed um, and make it so it can go above and beyond what it's normally set to do. Disable boot animation. Uh, that's just, you know, you fire up your phone. If you got, uh, like, this phone, the Motorola Triumph, it'll say, like, Virgin Mobile or something like that, and then it'll, and then it'll go to the, you know, the front screen. If you click on that, it will cancel the boot animation, therefore making a faster startup. So that's a good one to use. I use that. Uh, proximity sensor delay. Uh, when you are in call, screen is off. Uh, when the device moves away from your face, this delay value controls how long before screen turns off. So you have a call coming in, and you answer it. And you put the phone up to your face, and you start talking. And say you talk for, you know, two, three minutes, whatever. Um, and then... Uh, you get a text message or something while you're talking. You pull the phone away from your face and the screen, depending on what you set this to, um, will uh, take a certain amount of time to boot up. Okay? Uh, I don't, well, actually 450 stock is what it says. I don't really mess with that because I don't really use too many minutes on my phone. I'm more of a texting and web kind of guy. Um, so if that's a, a problem for you where, you know, you pull the phone away and you're waiting for your phone to unlock the screen or you have to push the unlock button, that would be a good one to use. Uh, change your build number. Uh, this is aesthetic and doesn't improve any of the system uh, performance. Um... I think all that is is you know changing like the version name of it up here at the top. It says uh, prop modder by noobware. I think that just you know messes around with that. Uh, PM sleep mode modify the nighttime sleep policy. Um, so say if you uh, let's see here power. It's it's got a couple of different options here. It says disable power collapse suspend. I just chose something. I don't know what I just did. Um, power collapse provides best power saver app sleep slow clock and wait for interrupt or wait for interrupt um, so what this does is it's basically you know at night nighttime you're not um, you're not using your phone very much you can uh, mess around with the PM sleep mode and it'll help save your battery is really what it is uh, optimize TCP stack modify the buffer size for better uh, better performance um, I had that checked I don't know why um, it became unchecked but that's you know as far as buffering movies like Netflix or YouTube movies um, that'll make it so it buffers quicker okay uh, just in time complier um, enable slash disables JIT complier and Dalvik VM. I haven't messed with that. It's checked by stock, so I'm just going to leave that one alone. Check in service. Stop sending system usage data to Google and HTC. All this is is it will automatically check you into the places you're at, okay, if you have it checked. So say you're at uh, McDonald's with your family and you have this checked and you have your GPS uh, enabled on your phone, uh, it will automatically check you in to the places you're at uh, through Google and HTC only, not through Facebook and stuff like that. 3G speed hack. This one I love using. It uncaps the 3G speeds on your phone. Um, so you have 3G network um, and you don't have 4G. If you want them to be even faster than uh, they're normally supposed to, click on that, restart your phone, and it's going to uncap your 3G speeds and it's going to make your phone a whole lot faster um, on your network. Okay. Uh, GPU acceleration to enable hardware acceleration where the GPU controls the UI instead of the CPU. Uh, all it really does is make your, com your, your computer, your phone, uh, run faster and smoother. Okay, that's a good one to have. Uh, Vmail sense ROMs compatibility with VVMail. I don't know what that one is. I believe that has something to do with rooting your phone. Uh, so I wouldn't go ahead and mess with that. And then... Um, SD card speed hack, modify the SD card buffer size for better performance. Um, you know, it says like your recommended one here, and then it has a whole bunch of different sizes. 
of uh, you know the speed hacks. I really don't mess around with that because you know I don't really uh, mess around with my SD card at all. And then it says disable logcat. Disabling logcat can improve system speed, but makes debugging very difficult. I don't mess around with that, but as it, as it just said, um, if you disable it, it's going to improve the system speed, um, but as far as debugging, um, you know, if you have D USB debugging on your phone and you're doing all kinds of stuff as far as rooting and stuff, that's going to make it very difficult to do that. So make sure that is checked or unchecked if you're going to be using any kind of debugging as far as plugging it into your computer or anything like that. Um, so that is... Uh, brief tutorial on how to use the application prop modder guys uh, you also can push the menu button down here in the left and it'll say you know reboot now please rate prop modder um, if you checked it if you check on stuff it's gonna uh, tell you that you need to reboot your system and, you know all that is is just you know hold the power button down go into reboot and rebooting the phone or just you know power cycling the phone uh, so that is uh, the tutorial on how to use prop modder guys. If you guys have any other requests, please uh, send me a comment or a message and I will get it out to you if, I, if I'm able to, okay? Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Hitchner 2009.